The Hawker song is a video artwork that we made in Phnom Penh and Battambang in Cambodia last year. Um, it was made in collaboration with two Cambodian artists, uh, Misi Korn and Spray Bandol, um, and was co-produced by a gallery in um, Phnom Penh uh, called Java Arts. And the work was looking at um, the life of street hawkers in those cities, and particularly around um, the effect of modernization and urban development. And Misa Korn, who uh, was one of our Cambodian artists that Keith just mentioned, uh, actually suggested this uh, theme to us as something he had been really observing about the streets of Phnom Penh, was that the hawkers were disappearing hmm. because of the rapid urban development that was going on in the city, which was really dramatic. In Melbourne, we installed the work in two locations. Um, one was down at Signal, which is a Melbourne Arts Youth Centre um, on the north bank of the Yarra, running alongside Flinders Street Station. Um, and the other was a laundrette at, at Springvale Station. And also we installed speakers above the ticket box, um, the automated ticket machine, actually on the station. Um, the Springvale location, there was a couple of reasons we chose that. We, Springvale has the largest Cambodian community in Victoria mm -hmm. and we, we worked quite closely with them before we went to understand more about sort of Cambodian life but also the significance of um, the hawkers and particularly the, the, the calls that they make to attract um, people to buy their wares and also the instruments they use. Um, we worked with them and actually recorded and spoke to them about their memories of hawkers um, before they came over, most of them as refugees. And so we, we were really interested in installing the work out there and kind of because there was this sort of conversation between Phnom Penh and Melbourne. It was very valuable. I mean, in fact, it was essential that we worked with the Cambodian community in the development of that project. It would have been a very poor project without that incredible input of the, of the community here. For one thing, it, it informed that sense of um, diaspora. You know, that there was this community here, and we were recording them during the hawker calls that they remember from their childhood, which are still the same, of course. Um, and then sending them back to our colleagues in uh, Phnom Penh and Badambong, um, and for them to hear what people here were still understood these hawkers calls to be. So it was a very nice way of connecting the two, the two uh, locations. I mean, the knowledge that we gathered in those, in those sort of early um, sort of community consultation periods meant that we could talk quite, quite easily with Bandol and Korn. And you know, I think maybe they were even surprised when we kind of were like knew what some of the instruments were before we'd even spoken to them or been to Cambodia, and so that kind of like eased the conversation. 